Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. So today I am doing a voiceover. I will get into that in a minute as to why I'm doing that. But first, I wanted to just say here that I am doing a diptych Dutch pour color split. And you can see the strange palette I have here. I found that on Pinterest and thought it would be really cool to try. Uh, that cantaloupe color that I made is just so contrasting with that green gray. So, and I implore you to stick with this video to the end because when you see the close up, it is a beautiful painting. So the next thing you're going to see, one of my viewers suggested that I do this and, um, it was actually a great idea. She told me, put some paint on a piece of paper, let it drip down, and that will show what the consistency is like. So I hope this is helpful for some of you. As you can see, the consistency is really runny. Um, but it was the perfect consistency for this Dutch pour. All the paints are mixed with Floetrol and water in the re the receipt. <laughs> The recipe will be in the description, but yeah, that flow trial that you saw in the beginning, I was showing you the bumps in the painting. Just be on the lookout for that. Uh, this paint here, the flow trial went through cheesecloth three times and I finally got it smooth. So just be careful with that. But you can see how fast the paint runs. I'm hoping that will be helpful. Again, I have to address that flow trial. This flow trial I used had to go through cheesecloth three times. So now, this is Miss Angelina Blow Lee. I have her in my Amazon shop. I have tabs in my Amazon shop set up. It would be under the Canvas and Tools tab. It works absolutely great, especially for the Dutch pour. The curved nozzle, if you hold it at the right angle, it works beautifully, but you have to hold it at the right angle. Now, they do sell a straight attachment for it, I've been told, but I just hold it at the right angle, and I don't have a problem with that. So, what I'm doing here is just putting the base paints down, which are also acrylic paint. That's the green-gray I did first, and you want to do your edges now before you go any further because once you do your design and it's flowing nicely over the edges, you don't want to have to go in there and fix up the sides. So just do it now. I'll take this time right now to tell you why I'm doing a voiceover. And that's because at the time of this video, I had to bring Clyde to the emergency room. And he's still there, believe it or not. I'm going to go get him today. But he's not breathing well and he's been diagnosed with congestive heart failure. So I'm just not in the mindset to talk and, to, and do this video the normal way. So I figured once I calmed down a little bit and found out a little bit more about him and what's going on, then I would just do the voiceover. But that's the whole reason for this. Um, please say a prayer for him. He is my baby and I just hope that the medications that they put him on will help him feel better. I was going to put some music on, but apparently everybody loves to hear me. So <laughs> every time I do that, I get complaints. So I'm just going to talk over it now. So you saw I added a little more of that green paint in the center there before starting to add my colors. And that is because it helps those colors move more freely up into the areas that you need them to go into when you start blowing it around with your blow dryer. So... You know, you add a little, we'll call it a little pillow paint there, and they move really, really nice. And now you just torch your bubbles, and it's time to bring out your blow dryer. Make sure your panels are nice and even, and go for it. Now, again, what you're seeing here is not what this looks like in the end when I give you a close-up. If you can see that right corner there is kind of washed out so you're going to see me add some more color in there and blow it around to fill it in and this is just really a stunning painting in the end and my little airbrush 
is saved the day again believe me with this one it's just i love that airbrush that's also in my amazon shop if you're interested so here i'm just adding a little white paint to push back that one area there i felt it was too close um and then i'm adding a little more color and to try to fill in that bottom I don't know what we call these. Do we call them fans, beta tails, uh, flower petals? But I needed to fill in that right there so that there was some color. Because like I said, it was just washed out. And there's another area there that I'll get to in a second where I did the same. Now, like I said, it, it doesn't look too impressive from where you're watching now. But once you see it up close, it's really unique. I just absolutely love it. So I'm just doing some finishing touches here. Trying to make things match up. You'll notice the center of the canvas, the petals, they match up perfectly. And you want to make sure that they match up there because that is, you know, it's the whole design. It's what connects both canvases together. And now I'm just pushing off a little of that green paint because I had way too much. But I'm happy to say it is drying beautifully. It is close up time. So this is my view. You're going to see your view and then you're going to see with the flash on so you can really see the colors. But I am absolutely in love with this palette. It's unique. It's different. That cantaloupe color is so vibrant and so contrasting. Absolutely love it. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share if you enjoyed the video. And um, we're going to see lights off now. I did my first voiceover. Yay me. <laughs> I absolutely hate it, but I did it. <laughs> I sell all my art on Etsy. You can follow me, Facebook, Instagram. Join our Facebook group. We have challenges every month in there. There's one going on right now. All the links are in the description along with all the coupons. Yada, yada, yada. Look at that. I think it's fantastic. I love it. If you are interested in this piece or any of the pieces you saw in the beginning, you can always email me artbytammy at yahoo.com. And um, I just want to thank you all for your love and support. Thank you for using my Amazon links. It helps tremendously, especially now with everything going on. And until next time, my friends. I love you all and happy pouring.